Hey guys, uh, so today is going to be a manga spreadsheet video, so ignore these boxes, I'm going to have to move these now so I can sit here and grab my laptop and show you guys how to make a manga spreadsheet but yeah, stay tuned for my epic manga haul next week where I'm going to unbox all these manga boxes and yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys but today is going to be a manga spreadsheet video so let's get started hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by so today i'm gonna go through my manga spreadsheet hopefully this video is a fun one but also a helpful one as a lot of you guys have requested this video after watching my online manga shopping with me video where um i showed my manga tracker and a lot of you guys were like oh can you make a video on how to create one as um i can see it being something very troublesome and tedious to make so hopefully i can help some of you guys out there as you guys already know i am I'm a very simple gal so I'm not very complicated so this tracker will be very simple and um, the layout of this video I am gonna go through my manga spreadsheet first then I'm gonna go through the step-by-step -step process in creating one with you guys so yeah I'll link this file down below in my description bar so you guys can download it and customize it how much you want as I said I am very simple so if you want to add extra bits and bobs go for it the more customization the better as it caters to your needs um, but yeah at the end day a manga tracker is very useful whatever you're collecting whether you're collecting books or manga as it helps you to keep in check what you have and also having a manga tracker avoids you from collecting duplicates so yeah definitely I recommend any of you guys out there don't have a tracker already create one um, and it will be very simple and easy as I'll insert the template down below for you guys to download but yeah um, hopefully this video will be um, helpful to some of you guys out there even though my explanations are the worst already on YouTube to, you guys already know like I already struggle with um, explaining manga so for me to explain and teach you guys how to create a tracker this is gonna be a challenge for me but I am excited but yeah as always before we get onto this video please give this video a like comment and subscribe you know the drill already and click on the bell and also if you do plan on buying manga or books feel free to use my affiliate links down below from Blackworld and Amazon so you guys can support this channel and also its future giveaways but yeah so before I get onto this video I am going to screen record my laptop so you guys can see everything and yeah I think is that all I need to say oh yeah a big shout out to you guys out there for supporting this channel literally this channel has reached 2,000 subscribers which I can't believe like I can't even get my words out straight but yeah I really can't believe it because this channel has helped me so much mentally and I have so much fun being on here and I hope you guys enjoy being on here too as well hopefully this channel can continue to grow and be a place where you guys can come on and just have a great time and that stuff and yeah just I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for reaching 2,000 subscribers. Literally, if you think of it, we have 2,000 people where we can share our manga suggestions and everything. Like, at first when I started this channel, I said, oh, I have no one to talk about manga. Now I have 2,000 of you guys, and you guys have 2,000 of us to um, chat about manga and just have a great time. So, yeah, hopefully this channel continues to grow and be a fun place for all of you. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm just going to set up my laptop to screen record and okay it looks like we're recording right now so with my manga spreadsheet so let me just show you if it's going to load there we go so right now I'm going to zoom in for you guys actually because it's quite a lot to see and focus so if you can tell from my manga spreadsheet by the way guys don't look too much into what I have in my collection as these are big spoilers for my upcoming epic manga haul but yeah don't look too much into it but this isn't my updated manga spreadsheet as well by the way as over here you can see um it says i have a uh, 382 manga in total and 397 volumes in total but currently i think i have 400 and something so yeah this is definitely not up to date so from my manga spreadsheet you can see it's very colourful and for me it's very pleasing to look at in my opinion. I don't know if you agree or not but yeah definitely change the font how whatever you like it or the colours and that stuff. So how I like to title my titles I start off with the title of the series then I go by the author then the volumes, genre, status, volume missing, missing total, reading status and omnibus volumes and I'll go through each one of them but yeah. If you can tell with this manga spreadsheet there are these little things and these are filters so for example I can filter my manga spreadsheet according to um, author so for example I do Ayazawa 
and only Ayazawa works will come up and then if I do select all you will see all the series I have in my collection and example here as well with status so any of my manga series that are completed like here where I click on complete only my completed series will pop up on here if that makes sense and then um, my ongoing ones or incomplete let's do incomplete so these are my incomplete series so i'll go through my color selection as well what they mean but yeah let me just select all so if you can tell here this green color this shows that a series is ongoing but here you can see i have um the promised neverland the promised neverland is currently ongoing but officially it is completed so that's why it's in purple so you can see i have another series that i'm collecting right now um and that is the demon prince on momochi house and that is in purple as it is a completed series why is it saying incomplete sorry I should say completed sorry let me just change that there we go and then pink is series that either is very hard that i don't think i can ever finish like collecting so like confidential confessions this is a very out of print manga series so i won't be able to get the last volume i doubt so you can see here i have volumes missing and that is volume six and i'll explain more of that right now because you can see it's very confusing you can tell for completed series where in the volumes missing column and the missing total column it's all on zero as i have nothing missing um like an example here an ongoing series living room at Sanagasan. i have um four volumes currently in my collection but i'm only missing volume three so if you can tell with living room at Sanagasan, i have a question mark on the missing totals um column as that signifies to me that i am up to date with this series but i'm just missing volume three so as i said here i have four volumes in total of living room at Sanagasan. so that means i have volume one two four and five um, but I'm just missing three. So in total, I have four volumes I have in that collection. So I hope that makes sense. You can switch about with the numbers and that stuff on how you can organize it. I will show you another way that you can do. But yeah, and also I have a status whether I'm reading or have um, read or um, a series that I have collected, but it, I haven't read it yet. So I, or I haven't reread. So um, yeah, so that is what it looks like. My um, manga tracker so if you can see at the bottom i do have tabs on this manga spreadsheet and tabs are basically extra sheets that you can have in the file so you don't have to create a new one so think of it like how you're on google where you have a tab for youtube another tab for twitter another tab for my anime list just think of it like that so it's all in one so in my manga spreadsheet file i have a tab for my wish list so these are series that i'd like to collect and um i don't think i need to explain too much on how to create this as it's just right in the title and author and that stuff but i do color coordinate it so for me how I organize my manga wish list I have this extra column that says access and that just shows whether it's a hard series to get or it's easy and like you see here my happy marriage is in blue and blue in my eyes means oh okay I have this in my collection you can tell that I have some titles in purple and those are series that I like to collect but I'm not in a rush to collect and then I have series in pink which are like the same thing um but it's basically if you can see the access here it's hard to get so um those are series that i'm not in a rush to get and on top they're super hard to get um and then i have green which are series that i really really want in my collection now and that will be my next thing to get in my next manga shopping so that's why they're in green and then i have a tracker so a tracker shows how i track when the next volume is coming out and do bear in mind this is very out of date so don't follow through with these like dates as a lot of them are not correct this sheet was a sheet that i used to always update however recently i haven't updated it because of the recent changes with release dates so yeah since everything is in a cuff for i thought yeah there's no way i'm gonna update it always as it's always changing and then i have a sheet for manga shopping and you guys probably already seen this from my online manga shopping with me video but this is basically a list of manga that i will get in um my next hauls or when i do buy manga and you can see i do have a price next to it but like i said these are not updated as prices always change and it depends on the store as well so like here i have aaa that means amazon bo means <laughs> book depository and b means blackwells 
and then I have a list here my most recent updated list of what I want to get next and I'll show you a glimpse of what I'm gonna buy but Oh, okay, that's the little glimpse. I don't want to show you too much as I'm planning to do an online manga shopping with me video. But hopefully this is a good enough breakdown to show you guys how I organise my manga. Also, on the first spread of my manga list, I do have on the side um, the number of total mangas I have in my collection. So I'll show you guys how to add that up. I do want to show you guys another method of um, putting the volumes in as this can be a bit confusing with the numbers. Like, um, example with um demon prince of momochi house some people will say i have volume one to three rather than just three volumes because it can be confusing and it can be a bit tedious listing out how many volumes you're missing here so i hope you guys understand how i list out what volumes i'm missing and the total numbers i'm missing so example for nana um by ayazawa i am missing volume 17 18 19 20 and 21 so in total i'm missing five volumes of this series as you can see, my manga spreadsheet is catered towards how I like it, but there are ways of doing it. For example, I have one here where, um, if it's going to load... So if you can tell here with this new file, this is the same concept as my um, manga spreadsheet, but it's just more condensed. But to me, this doesn't really work out for me as I can't see what I'm missing and I can't add up the total of volumes I have in my collection. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me just make it bigger. So for example, here I have Absolute Boyfriend and I just put complete. So that means I have completed the series but I didn't list out the amount of volumes I have. But um, how many Absolute? Okay, Absolute Volumes have six volumes. So I'll, example, I'll put it here. Even if I put six and all that, I still have these series where I put one to five even though this sheet is very simple it's not enough of a breakdown for me to see what i have in my collection and what volumes i'm missing so i definitely prefer how i have my layout here because i have a specific column that shows what volume number i'm missing so here with incurable case of love i'm missing volume six and seven and then with moriarty i'm missing volume two for me i prefer my manga spreadsheet looking like this but yeah it really depends on how you like things to be and it really depends how complicated you want your manga spreadsheet to be you can add more columns to like filter things out so for example i can create a column such as colors so i can organize my manga spreadsheet by colors of spine so the first thing you want to do before creating in a spreadsheet is think of what you want to add for this row so here i have title author volume genre status volumes missing missing total reading status and omnibus volume so i'm gonna do that you can add a column for color of spines however you want it to be so let's start off with a new sheet so let's start so i said titles and then next tab authors at first don't be too bothered of like the font and how it looks you just want to have all the information in at first so titles author volumes genre oh let me change genre so if you have noticed here we have this title where it's quite long compared to these other ones and it doesn't really fit in with this column so all you need to do is at the top just double click and it will like expand the cell but anyway um the next thing is reading status and if you want to change the font and that stuff you can change the font by going on to here and for me personally i prefer Corea. so i'm just going to click on Corea. And there we go and you can create the titles to look a little bit bigger so it stands out so more expanding or i can just do this you can highlight all the cells and just there we go all of them will go big in but titles are normally bigger so i'm just gonna make this big oh i only have low battery what the fuck i'm gonna resume this video after i recharge my laptop and camera so um see you guys in a bit Hey guys, so my Camry battery has been fully charged now and my laptop, so we can continue with this video. So let me just screen record my laptop and um, cool, we're well, good. Okay, so um, where were we? So yeah, so I, oh god, sorry. So I got the titles here, so you can have these titles um, to look nice by putting it into the middle, like here. So let's start filling it out, actually. 
So what I like to do with um, my manga spreadsheet, I like to add borders. Some people probably don't like borders, but for me, it's just more organized. I know it is a bit ugly to have lines and that stuff, but it does really help out. So um, first of all, you can filter these as well. So let me just um, highlight. So you can highlight all of them. Actually, you don't have to highlight all of them. So I can just press one of the titles and you go on to sort and filter. Can you see it here? And you just click that and click filter. And you can see all the titles have these little arrows and you can filter it by ascending order or descending order. As you can see, it is very easy in creating the layout for the spreadsheet. Um, but I want to show you guys a tip where you can find titles. One thing I do notice that you guys probably see different on your screen as well is that um, Windows and Mac have their Excel in a different layout for some reason and also my Mac is set as dark mode so that is why my background is like grey and black rather than white but anyway um, I want to give you a tip in searching up for titles so on a Windows or a Mac you can do command F and normally it will come up with a little box on Windows but on the Mac it's just a search bar so example you can search up your title so like water koi and then you search and then what a quote will pop up you can see the cell is highlighted as well and you can find all the information about it okay so anyway let's start filling in some titles so i'm just gonna start with some random stuff i don't know tokyo go um it's by su i think sui shida Okay, don't um, mind my spellings and everything. So you can see when I typed it in, some reason the cell didn't create a border for some reason. So I'm just gonna click on all borders again. So it's highlighted and then I don't know, Arisa. For some reason I'm just typing out Natsumi Ando's works, but something's wrong with us. Oh, Kitchen Princess. Um, let's see what manga I have here. Um, Nana, Ayazawa. So also another thing if you don't know how to use Excel, you see this little corner here, if you drag it down it basically copies what you wrote and just slides it down so I don't need to type in that to me and it again. Example, what can I do? Um, carry first love. So I'm just looking at my shelf over here and just seeing what I can put. Also you can edit the text by using this bar here, so I'm going to type it here. That's the most useful way of doing it. And it's by Sushina. So if you can see here with volumes, I put in the amount of volumes I have in my collection already. So um, with Tokyo Girl I have 14, Reese have 12, um, something's wrong with us, I have two free. So I'll put free and then Kitchen Princess, I have all four omnibuses and Nana, I have up to volume 16, Curry First Love, I have 10 and then Tokyo Girl Re, I have 16. Theme. So okay, so genre I will say this is shonen, and then shoujo, and then something's wrong with us is a jose. I think the best way to fill out your manga spreadsheet is by going through one by one of the series that you have in your collection, whether through your shelves or however you like store your manga. And that way you know whether you added in those titles in your spreadsheet already. That's what I did before creating my manga spreadsheet. So I was just going through my bookshelf and seeing what I have and what I was missing. But yeah, definitely if you don't know who the manga is, definitely go on my anime list and on Viz or um, Kodansha website. For example, going on my anime list, um, you can see Sweat and Soap is by Yamada Kintetsu and um, you can see what genre it is, so it is a seinen and also it is publishing, so that means it's ongoing. So actually, let's add that to um, this, so Sweat and Soap, what was it, Yamata? Was it Yamata? I have a very bad memory for some reason. Yamada, okay. Kintetsu. So, Yamada Kintetsu, and I currently own all five volumes, and it is a seinen. I used to mistake this as a jose because it felt like a jose, but actually, Sweat and Soap is a seinen if you didn't know. This is a shonen, so you just fill out all the genres. So, Nana is a shoujo, and then same as Carrie First Love. Remember on the corner here, I can just drag and it will just copy the same thing. And then, status is completed. complete um arisa's complete as well 
and then something's wrong with us is our ongoing series at the moment okay so missing volumes i'll say zero hit zero hit um something's wrong with us i think there's five volumes out at the moment so i'll say um missing volumes are four and five so i'm missing volumes four and five and then kitchen princess there's none um nana is it nana yeah nana i'm missing um 17 18 19 20 and 21 this fashion soap i am currently up to date so um i'll put a question mark so on to reading status so um tokyo girl i am still reading at the moment so that'd be reading arisa i have reread already so and then something's wrong with us reading kitchen princess um haven't reread so i have read the series before but ever since i collected it i haven't reread it yet um nana i haven't read so it's unread so i have actually nana for like four years now in my collection and i still haven't read it it's actually right next to me but um yeah i don't know i feel like because it's on hiatus that's the reason why i haven't read it yet because i feel like once i get to volume 16 i'll be like shall i pick up the rest of the volumes but even if i do pick up the rest of the volumes up to volume 21 i wouldn't be able to finish the series because it's unfinished so um yeah i think i'm just in that little um dilemma but anyway um the next one is carry first love i have reread so um why um why does this one say reading sorry i'm just going to change arisa but it says reading for some reason red there we go there we go um and then omnibus volumes is there any omnibus volumes here okay there are omnibus volumes so kitchen princess even though i said there's four omnibuses in total volumes for this series there's actually 10 so let me just search out for you guys to show you so kitchen princess has um 10 volumes as you can see here 10 cool so if you can tell here it looks very very ugly so i'm just gonna organize it i'm just gonna delete this whole row since i didn't fill it in um so you can delete it like that and then i'm gonna make this chart smaller because yeah um, actually no, I'll keep it big so you guys can have it. Um, I'm going to highlight this whole row and make it pretty. So let me choose a pastel colour as I like pastel colours. Maybe a light blue or let's do like a turquoise colour, like a teal. Mm, yeah, we would have that. Okay, so now it is pretty and you can like make the cells bigger if you want like this. This volume missing total doesn't need to be that big, but um, because of the title, how long it is, it's like that. So now we have some data, guys. Now we can have a bit of fun. So you can start filtering your um, columns. So here I want it ascending order. So you can see it's by um, alphabetical order now. So going from A to Z. And then also you can go from whether it's completed or not. So click on complete so it shows you what um series you have complete already or what series you have that are ongoing okay one of them i spelled on hoeing so let me just correct that and then so you can see now the on hoeing is gone so you can click on series that are ongoing in your collection at the moment so let me just select all anyway so how you add up what volumes you have already in your collection is by so you can click a cell any anywhere from here like i can click here 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 whatever i'm gonna click here so i'm gonna just do a title and be like total volumes okay and then i can just expand it like how i told you where you just double click here and expand the cell to make it bigger and you can change the color of this so i can change it to i don't know um let's go for pink okay and then here you'll do a sum so you go on formulas and you do auto sum you see that there and you just highlight the cells that you want to add up so you basically want to highlight your volumes column because that's how many volumes you have in your collection and then you just press enter 
and there we go there's 80 volumes from there and you can see here oh there is um apologies i did think it looked a bit odd because i was missing another column so when you're missing another column you can add a new one so here i'm just going to insert here and it adds another column and this should be volume missing total and this one should be just volumes missing so it's clear that okay i'm missing volume 17 18 19 20 and 21 in my collection for nana so in total that is sorry i'm just zooming in for you guys so you can see better so this is what it looks like so i'm currently missing 17 18 19 20 21 so i'm missing five volumes so i'll put five here and then here I'm missing two because I'm missing volume four and five. So here you can tell how many volumes you are missing in your collection and what volumes they are by doing this. Um, there are different ways of doing it, but this to me is a better breakdown for myself as I understand it a lot more. Hopefully you guys understand it too. But yeah, so now we have worked out how many volumes we have. You can also work out the total volumes, including the omnibus volumes. So here I'll do total volumes including um omnibus and if you want it to look the same as this you can highlight this or click on the cell and click on home and you see this like paintbrush you click on the paintbrush and you click on the cell and it will look exactly the same and then see so it looks exactly the same as this without um, doing anything. Like say if I had a different font, for example, I'll change it to a green background and I want it to look exactly like this with the same font, with the same size and the color. All you need to do is click on the paintbrush, click on the cell again, and it will look exactly the same. So see, bit of magic, I know, <laughs> joking, joking. But anyway, so in order to add in your omnibus volumes, all you need to do is equal and you can plus your total volumes here and you need to minus the volumes that you added for um, your omnibus. So like here, Kitchen Princess, I had I said four. So I had to minus that. The reason why you have to minus it is because if I just add 80 plus 10, that means I have an extra four volumes, which I don't have in my collection. So I have to minus those four volumes and just add the omnibus volumes instead of the actual volumes, if that makes sense. I know my explanation is shit, but it is what it is. Anyway, and then you can just do a plus sign and you add the cell and you just enter. So in total, you have 86 volumes. There we go. So I hope that makes sense. It is very, very simple. And um, yeah, that's how I basically make my manga tracker. So it's not very complicated, but you can make it as complicated as you like. As you can tell, it is super easy in creating a manga spreadsheet or a manga tracker. All you need to do is list your titles and the manga and the volumes and what volumes you are missing, whether it's complete. However you wanna organize it, you can create as many like columns you want in order to organize your manga spreadsheet and add as many filters you want. And like I said here, like you can just click on filter and be like, okay, let me see what series I haven't read yet. So I just click on unread. Then I'll be like, oh, I need to read these two series, Nana and Tokyo Girl in my collection. So let's click on my actual manga spreadsheet and show you guys what I need to read. So I'm just gonna click on, um, haven't reread and unread. So these are series that I need to read um, because I haven't read it in my collection and my goal this year is to read as much as possible from what I have already in my collection as sometimes it's a waste hauling so much manga you don't give the love that it deserves and that stuff so yeah definitely is a great way in organizing like that so let me just select all so yeah this is my manga spreadsheet if you do want to add like a wish list or a tracker and that stuff go for it it is the same concept like you add the price like so for example here you can create a list and you list out the price of the volumes you want. All you need to do is click on formulas, auto sum, and it highlights is the whole column for you. So all you need to do is just press enter and there you go. That's how you work it out. So very, very, very simple. I will save this file for you guys for you to download down below in the down bar. So feel free to do that or you can restart and do everything by following this video. If you don't want to download it, you can highlight all the cells and how to highlight cells, you click this corner you see here and just click it and it highlights everything. You just copy and you can paste it. So example, like I say I created a new file, but I'm just going to create a new sheet and I just paste and there we go. 
do pause the video if I'm talking too quick and go back to it um, to understand. But yeah, feel free to ask me questions down below. But hopefully this video is very, very simple. As I said, all you need to do is fill in what you have in your collection and then just add some filters and you're done. It can be very tedious if you have a collection that's over 1,500 volumes. However, it is great to have as once you've done it, you don't need to do it again. All you need to do is update your tracker. So yeah, that is it. Um, if you like, you can jazz up your spreadsheet and add colors like you see in my actual one. So like on ongoing series, I have them all in green. Pink is series that I'm not planning to continue collect or it's very hard to get. And purple means it's a completed series, but it's a series that I'm still needing to pick up the rest of the volumes. So yeah, that's just my way of color coordinating. So yeah, you can add as many tabs you want for your Excel file or spreadsheet. And yeah, just have a lot of fun. Definitely um, let me know how it goes down below in the comment section. I would love to know how your manga spreadsheets are going. Do send them if you want as well. I um, would love to know what you have in your collection and that. But yeah, I think we have come to the end of this video. Definitely this was a difficult video to film as I just struggle so much with explanations and I really hope my tips and tricks and me explaining things get across to you well as um, I'm not too sure how this video is going to come out but hopefully it turns out fine and yeah um, thank you for watching guys and thank you so much for being so supportive as always give this video a like comment subscribe and feel free to use affiliate links down below to help support this channel and that and yeah stay tuned for my next upcoming haul because you can see here it's a mad one i have oh, i have chunky manga i have manga that is in hype right now i have manga series that i'm loving and i have ongoing series and completed series like i have a bunch and also with my manga haul i didn't just buy everything from like amazon or book depository i did try out some new um websites which i'm really excited to talk about because if i had a good experience i want to share it with you guys and that stuff especially if it can save you a bit of money in that anyway i hope this video wasn't too boring and for it to go straight to the point as i do ramble a lot but hopefully my point did come across to you guys and you guys do understand um what i was talking about but yeah this video was a challenge to film definitely very tricky but hopefully it comes out great but yeah thank you so much for those of you who have stayed to the end of this video like geez like you watched the whole video through like that's mad that's mad but anyway stay blessed stay healthy and um i'll see you guys soon bye